going on guys g funky boxing hcp this panic's causing panic if you're new to the channel subscribe hit the like button hit the notification bell so you know every time that i go live look man i want to mention something real quick in this video it's not gonna be that long um i see a lot of guys attacking guillermo rigando about what he did last night in his fight against uh casimero look man here's the thing a lot of dudes complaining but they knew damn well they knew damn well who Regandau was before that fight started so my thing is this you guys are like gluttons for punishment you don't like the way he fights don't watch him it's that simple <laughs> don't watch you know it's like you, you you did it on purpose to torture yourself or something like i don't understand if you don't like the man's style don't watch him fight it's that simple but my thing is this man you guys aren't you guys aren't keeping the same fucking energy man that's the problem you guys want to trash him for not throwing punches and for doing a lot of movement and look i'm not trying to sit here and say that what rigo did last night was was good i don't think either guy deserved to win that fight last night i mean i'm just gonna keep it 100 both guys look like shit but the problem is you guys only want to trash rigo that's it. I don't hear nobody tr trashing Casamero. You guys are already acting like he did something great. What the fuck did he do that was so great? I mean, did he not study Rigo or what? Did he not know that Regan now was, was going to move around the ring or what? I mean, for real, let me know. Why, did, why didn't him and his trainers in their camp work on cutting off the ring? Why didn't they do that? You guys want to blame Rigo for the fight being bad. You're going to have to blame Casimero as well. He had no idea what to do with Rigo last night. No clue what to do with Rigo. None. He let a, a guy who's probably 45 years old go in there, move around the ring willy-nilly all night long without cutting off the ring. And you guys have got nothing to say about that, right? Now, I'll agree with you. Rigo didn't do enough either. He was like, he was throwing a lot of punches. Okay, I'll admit that. And I'm not saying that he won the fight. But what I'm saying is this. If you're going to trash Rigo, you better trash Casimero as well. Because that dude is fucking garbage. Flat out. I don't give a damn who doesn't like it. That dude is trash. You're going to let some 45-year-old man go in there and, and embarrass you like that. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, man. To let a guy that old go in there, make you miss wildly. I mean, you, you, you barely hit the guy. 45 years old. To me, that, show, that tells me a lot about him and his training camp. That tells me that he was not prepared for Rigo. He thought he was going to walk in there, touch Rigo one time with a power shot, and he was going to go to bed, and that was it. That's what he thought. That's not what happened. He couldn't do shit with Rigo. Rigo still got his legs, still got his reflexes. All right, a lot of us questioned that. A lot of us questioned if he could still move around the ring, right? We talked about it on uh, all last week on HCP, on all the shows, we talked about it. I said, I think he still has got, you know, a couple more fights left in him, but he moved around better than I thought. But the thing is this, People getting mad because of Rigo doing all that moving, but you're not mad at Casimero for not cutting off the ring. And people are acting like it's the hardest thing in the world to cut off the ring on somebody. You guys act like it's uh like like you're searching for mermaids or Bigfoot or something like that. Like it's impossible. Like it, it can never happen. When we seen guys do it, we see it happen a lot. You guys forget that or what? You guys want to you guys are too busy hating Rigo and giving this dude a pass for coming in and looking like shit. All right? That's all I'm saying. There's things you could do in there to stop a guy from moving. It's happened a lot in boxing. This is not new. We talk about it all the time on ACP. Pressure bust pipes. Where was that pressure from Casimero? Where was it? Huh? Where was the jab? How come he wasn't throwing a jab? 
that was missing all night. His footwork was terrible. Again, no jab. <laughs> he could barely hit the guy. 45 years old. But you guys want to trash Rigo because it's easy. That's why. Because guys in the media do it. So it's easy. Right? Easy to blame Rigo for the whole thing. And again, I'm not saying Rigo won. But he did what he always does. What did you expect him to do? Stand there toe-to-toe? -to -toe? <laughs> That's what Casimero probably thought. That's why he put that picture of him on the punchy bag. And Rigo, Rigo's uh, PR person or whoever controls his Twitter said it uh, last night. This, this is me in the flesh, homie. This ain't me, uh, my pitcher on, on a punching bag, all right? I'm not just going to stand there and let you punch me. What the fuck do you think this is? <laughs> so, dudes don't want to keep that same energy, man. Now, look, if you disagree with me, that's cool. You guys know I don't mind. But I'm going to give my thoughts every single time. We're going to go live tomorrow night, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, right here on the same channel. We're going to talk about all the fights. Ortiz, Cavalaskis, Franco, Maloney, and of course, Rigo, Casamero. We're going to have a few guests. d Styles going to be on. You know, he's my co-host. He'll be there. We're going to have Gabriel Montoya, who's going to be back. He's going to be uh, talking the fights with us as well. And we're also going to have Divine Sense, who was uh, one of the original channels from uh, back in the original ytvc you know 10 plus years ago he uh you know came back made a new channel he reached out so we're gonna have him on but here's the thing if you disagree with what i'm saying you want to come on and talk with me about it i'm going to put my email in the description of this video it's in my email is in every single description of every video i drop you want to talk to me about it email me you can get a link you could come on and talk but my thing is this it's the same old bullshit you guys want to trash Rigo all day but you don't want to trash Kashi Metal for having a shit fucking game plan and for being a garbage fucking fighter that he is and I'm gonna tell you right now he was talking about oh I had three guys I want to be Rigo I want to be Inoue and Donair I tell you right now Inoue beats the fuck out of this guy that fight's not even close. Donaire knocks him out as well. Not even close, man. So, that's really all I got to say. We're going to talk. Like I said, we're going to talk more about this uh, tomorrow night. It's G-Funky Boxing. I'm out.